Hello, I'm Michelle Ogborn. I'm a Scottsdale-based attorney. And I'm Craig Cherney, also in Scottsdale as a practicing lawyer. We're going to talk today about you've come to this point now where you want to collaborate, you're ready to end your divorce, and as you know, the law requires both spouses have to agree to collaborate through a divorce. It's not a mandatory process. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the clients that are coming to our offices, whether it's the wife or the husband, they're all in on collaboration. They know the therapeutic effects for their children, for themselves, the fact that the cost and timing will be lower than traditional litigation. But how do you bridge that gap? How do you get Mr. X or Mrs. Y to actually go and learn about collaboration, trust the process, and then jump in and do it. Do you have thoughts on that? Yeah, so this is a common question and concern that I get in my practice. Usually I'm meeting with one of the spouses who unfortunately has decided that divorce is the right course for the family. Often they both know it's the outcome, but one of them is not quite ready to take that next step. So often we spend weeks, sometimes months, talking about how do you have that difficult conversation with your spouse and we'll sometimes role play the conversation walk through kind of points of discussion and providing resources to them to help them sit down and have that discussion with their spouse in a way that helps their spouse understand that this is probably going to give the best outcome for their family because it's one of the gentler processes it keeps you out of court it is less costly and less time consuming and better outcomes for their children so that's really how we kind of focus on helping them have that conversation.